Hello, that sun is sunning today, baby. Remember sunning? I won't be sidetracked, Sarah, today. We have plans, there are things that need to be done. Remember how I like took a week to just be out on my, on my arse all week, yeah. Uh, after that, I was like, oh my gosh, my tum tum is feeling better now. Kubow, kubow. Cold. So I'm recovering from that now. It's currently 6.47. We have exactly less than two hours to accomplish our work this morning. And that's gonna include a little voiceover. Say hi, hi. I wanted this yesterday, so there's quite a bit of pressure on me to get it done immediately. They took too long to tell me they wanted it yesterday. My mom just had surgery, so I had to make the decision between going to visit her and see how she's doing and doing my job. And I was all like, eh, eh. <laughs> smoothies with my mom. I am gonna work for two hours, you guys, or less. Hopefully slightly less. I did start doing this last night, but I'm also trying to prioritize spending time with like, Lewis and you know when the kids are around I try to be present for the kids and it's it's honestly if you're not truly working on it If you're not like I am going to do that like for some people me people It just gets away from me and before you know it I haven't spent time with people that I care about and I'm like not involved enough anymore in their lives And then ultimately that's more important than my job. So I need to like remember that so I'm gonna add it But then our plans for today involve packing because we're going out of town tomorrow. Prepping the house, my housekeepers are actually coming today so I had to uh, make sure that everything was, you know, in its place, love that. Helping the kids pack, so they packed their own stuff and I made them packing list, however, I still gotta give it the old mom check a before they zip it all shut. Pick up Ashley from the airport. Yay! That's right kids, because within 12 hours of her flying in, I'm flying out. We're really good at planning. Did I mention we're also going to Pilates? Let that be the fifth thing. As soon as I'm done editing, we're in the car, we're out of here. I just spent nine minutes on Instagram and my computer is literally not even on. We're not off to a great start. All right, I'm done working. Well, for now, this freaking jacket is too small on me. And so from the front, it makes me look like, oh yeah, this girl, yeah. Oh yeah, look at her. What? I'm not even gonna show you from the back. I'm just gonna tell you from the back I have to make magic happen sometimes, and um, <clears throat> well anyway, I must have forgot the spell because it's not happening. Last time I tried to wear this jacket, I actually turk it, turk it off because I was a little self-conscious about it. Um, but uh, yeah, no, not today. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna leave the house, everything's gonna be fine. I bought a bunch of stuff from Hollister. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's just straighten it, right? I washed it yesterday, I blue, I blue dried it. Let's just give it a little bit of a straighten. Ordered a bunch of stuff from Hollister and American Eagle, and did you know that Hollister puts a limit on how many items you can put in your cart? I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I don't know what it is. So, they put a limit of 30, and I would say that uh, probably half of that was Nala stuff, and the rest was uh, kind of a mixture of me and Jay. Every single thing, with the exception of a zip-up hoodie that I bought for Jaden, did not fit him or he did not like. Every single thing that Nala got, so she picked some of it out and then I kind of assisted with some of it, she's obsessed with. So I was like, this is very much giving, you win some, you lose some. However, we're going out of town tomorrow as I mentioned and I didn't want Jaden to like not have you know, some nice fresh new stuff. So I was just getting them summery and spring stuff. So I ended up going to TJ Maxx and then that was a dud pretty much. I got him like two little things. I did get him one of those like crossbody things, kind of like a little Lulu bag, except it was a little bit more sporty. I'm not gonna say masculine because it's a bag, but it was more sporty and it will fit his Nintendo Switch, which Nala thought was real. She got a kick out of the fact that like that's the that's the determining factor. Will it or will it not fit a Nintendo? I know my son, okay? He must carry his Nintendo sometimes. So um, I got him one of those and then I was just really struggling to find anything else. I think I got him like some draws or something. But then I went to Target. I found that boy so many things. Target had so many things and I'm gonna say like everything but one thing fit. I bought him a pair of sweatpants the wrong size. They were way too big. I was so excited you guys because then at the end of the night Jaden had a big pile of clothes to scoop up and take upstairs and they cost less than what I was getting him from Hollister. I did also order him a bunch of stuff from Box Lunch which is such a good place if you have a kid who is just, or yourself, if you're super into like fandom type of stuff or you know TV shows, movies, games, whatever. Like they have so much stuff at Box Lunch and I think they're affiliated with Hot Topic? Are they affiliated with Hot Topic? But now I have a huge pile of stuff to return to Hollister. I also got some stuff from Hollister, but I haven't tried it on yet, so I haven't set up our return yet. Returns to Hollister, 
very easy. Highly recommend shopping there. <sighs> okay, they're gonna be here any second and we need to run to lots. This is with my favorite instructor. She really gets the burn going. I'm just gonna throw my hair up anyway, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but I mean, I know, but I don't know. The downside of us going out of town is that Nala is gonna miss her first softball game. But Lewis's birthday is actually this weekend, so we're gonna go and do something fun for him to celebrate. That'll be good for him. He is the transplant here, after all. He's the one who had to leave, you know, friends, family, etc., 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 all over the world here. So, um, you know, when we travel to visit people and to see people, it's usually gonna be his people because my people are all here. Well, with the exception of Ashley, although she will be here later. Okay, um, everybody that I know that like goes to Pilates, they always put their grippies on when they get there, but I'm like, why? Why put your grippies on when you get there when you can just throw your gripped up sock in the shoe and hope that it makes it all the way in? <laughs> We've of course been on a mad dash. Pardon me. Sorry. We've been on a mad dash to finish everything in the fridge, you know? And by we, I mean I. No one else cares. No one's like, oh no, are the veggies gonna go bad? Literally no one else in this house cares. I love when the housekeepers come because my house is so clean. Like literally nothing is out of place. It's freaking perfection. Oh, you guys want to see my plant babies? Hopefully they survive the however long we're going to be out of town. Don't ask me what they are and no, they're not all doing well, but some of them are really thriving. Those are doing well. I'm pretty sure those are tomatoes and I forget what those are. And some of these are just flowers that Nala planted. And then of course we have like zucchini and stuff. They need to get potted into the next size, but I just don't see myself having the time to do that today. So we're going to have to wait. Oh, I definitely need to water them though. And they're all on this heating pad, which I love. So let's go ahead and water these actually. And then we're going to dip out. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm getting dirt everywhere. Oh, they're so warm. I love it. That little heating pad is lovely. So excited for planting. I'll do it when we get back. Solomon told me I should do it Mother's Day weekend. Um, I'm actually going out of town for something a little different. I'll ask the person involved if they mind if I share. And if they do mind, I won't tell you, but I gotta tell you, if it goes well, you're gonna notice. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. We just rolled up to Pilates here we just rolled up but um i just finished listening to magnolia parks by jessa hastings and i know this is a series so if you guys have read it please advise right what i liked about this book was the pace of it and i liked the kind of conversational like style of it i don't know it was like very easy to listen to or it would have been very easy to read too i actually have the book but whatever it came on libby so i listened to it and i like the fact that we're inside of their heads i liked the gossip girl kind of like vibe i hated like i don't hate bj but i don't want bj and magnolia to be together ultimately like BJ is a jerk ass. I don't enjoy him as a boyfriend to Magnolia, okay? So I like him normally, whatever. I like being in his brain and I find it to be interesting, but I don't want them to end up together. So you don't have to spoil these books for me, but should I just jump ship and maybe go read Daisy Hates instead? Because I hear good things about Daisy Hates and I'm wondering like, am I gonna like the relationships in that book better than in this book? Because I'm a little bit afraid to continue this one. Or should I just go try Daisy Hates? Or should I just say screw it off? Because I don't like to read about relationships where they're literally just awful and they all end up together. And I'm like, well, what is this, real life? I don't want that, that's not what I'm here for. Well, I'm 15 minutes early, so I guess I'm gonna sit here and scroll through my emails and check in. You're all right, you're all checked in. Okay. If every Pilates class was like this one, I don't know if I can do it three times a week, babe. Her classes are so challenging and they're so good. Like, so good. Like my whole scalp was just wet, okay? Because that's how much I've been sweating. Meanwhile, on Monday I came out feeling like I could do a jig, bro. Like, what do you mean you need me to go? and save the world. I can do that right now. I have plenty of energy. Yeah, not after this class, Ugh. I need a little breather after this, I'm not even gonna lie. This class is so hard. This is what convinces me that I can take a 1.5 from any other instructor. I can't take her 1.5, because she would kill me, but I could take somebody else's 1.5, because <sighs> she's she is the one. I gotta see if she's at one of the other studios. I gotta take her class at least twice a week, cause baby, 
she's incredible. All right, obviously home, laid downstairs with LG for a while while they were finishing up and floors in this house are garbage, jeez. It's the builder's fault. We're gonna whip up a salad, but I truly am trying not to waste stuff. And I had it all planned out, except I wasn't eating anything for like a long time there last week. So a bunch of it's gonna like go to waste. Remember when I cut these vegetables? A thousand years ago? Well, maybe it's not that long ago in your time. In real time, 1,000 years have passed. Going on, but there are scary men chasing her. Pretty good, her not gonna lie, go pretty good. Together. There's no way I can finish this. So, we're just gonna put that over there. It's fine. Uh, we did get a package from Ari while I was downstairs. This is my stuff. It's funny because I picked up one of Nala's swimsuits and I'm like, how the hell am I gonna fit in this? I'm not. It wasn't for me. I will say I got a size down in my leggings because sometimes like they're feeling extra loosey goosey, but I'm feeling like there's no way I'm gonna fit them. We'll find out together. I just slam that salad. What is it about salad that makes my stomach hurt so much? So the sheer volume, it's more voluminous than uh, a lot of my other food. You think that'll taste good later? Can I save it? Maybe if I add it to more lettuce. I'm gonna save it. And before we head upstairs to go pack ice. My favorite tea, my favorite lemonade. Together again. Uh, I call this a Sarah Ray. Some people call it an Arnold Palmer. Not sure who he is, but. So. You know it's Sarah Ray? Yeah, because they're both sugar free. Yeah, right. A Sprite and call it a Sarah Ray. Sprite and what? That's too much. Then what am I going to do with the rest of Sprite? It'll probably be flat. All right. We're going to. That like popped at me. We're gonna add a lemon because we need to eat these lemons. That's why, it's that simple. Drop a lemon, drop that whole bad boy in there, cut block and drop it, add the lid. Now we got something to dry. A little something to sip on. This looks way too small. That'll do it. <laughs> LOL, I can't get around the lemon. <laughs> now, let's go upstairs. Let's go find <gasps> my Coco Ono. Oh my Coco Ono, oh you're such a good girl. You were hiding upstairs. Crash was hiding with us in the basement. Okay, let's go find ourselves a suitcase, pals. Jaden, he has a suitcase. Poily, she has a suitcase. Oh gosh, I just, I just love it. I pretend like my kids clean this well and it wasn't housekeepers. Oh, I bought all of the stuff to upgrade this room art, this, that, the million suggestions you guys made, I bought it all. I gotta do it one day. Maybe next time. We have five base suitcases in here. The kids took the small versions of those. I'm thinking I'll take a bright one. Or should I match? Nala wants me to twin with her. Okay, this is a good basic Betty swimsuit. She's literally giving nothing. So I think it's good. Everything's covered. I have underwear on still. And then, um, and then the back, you got the little low dip, whatever. It's good. Doesn't make me feel amazing, but it is extremely functional. I am very pale. Like I'm always pale, but this is my palest season of life. I don't even think I've taken swimsuits. Oh, I did buy myself a little, a sexy little something. Let's see if it works. Yeah, this one kind of makes me feel like I should return the other one because I think it just looks, just looks a lot better. I still feel pretty covered up, but I, I don't know, I feel a little more like Sarah in this one. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's the stripes. Could be the stripes from the other one. This one's pretty comfy though. It is a one piece. I feel pretty secure. I don't know, I think I like it. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep this bad boy. Oh, and I guess since we're here, we might as well throw these bad boys on. So these are my favorite leggings. I get all of my leggings and all of my bike shorts from Aerie. I mean, not every single pair, but the majority of them. And they just have to say real me or real extra or Seven eighth leggings with a crossover in front. And like I said, I got these ones in an XL. Majority of the ones that I buy in an XXL. However, I bought these exact same ones in an XXL and they were just running kind of loose and it's because, I don't know the difference, but some of them have just a slightly different material. And that material, this material, I feel like tends to run a little big. So now the question is just, do they fit? And I mean, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess they do. They don't feel too tight or anything. I love that they have pockets. A lot of them don't. Most of them don't have pockets, so I love that these ones have pockets. I'm missing some nails. I lost them. This one gives me like a little bit of cheek, which I always appreciate. Just ignore the swimsuit hanging here. I didn't want to take off the leggings yet. I got this little top, like sports bra top with this matching little jacket from Hollister. Now I've got some stuff in this color too. I think it's called Cloud Blue. It's really cute and a lot of stuff that I got, pretty much everything I bought was on sale. In fact, that was kind of the standing rule was if you're adding it to the cart, it needs to be on sale. This is cute. Again, ignore the swimsuit hanging, but this is a good little outfit. I could, I, maybe I'll pack something like this. I don't know if I'll pack the blue. I don't necessarily like standing out when I'm like <laughs> meeting new people and stuff. <laughs> um, Cause I've heard of these people and I've known of these people, like Lewis's friends and stuff, but this is a particular crop of people that I have never met and he's been like lifelong friends with these folks. So, you know, <clears throat> not that they're gonna be judging my fits or anything cause they're not gonna care. They all have their own lives going on, but I'm going to be judging myself as one does. Kind of cute if you leave it open too. I never leave them open. All right, I like it. I don't have a bra on yet, right? And you're like, Sarah, what the hell are you doing? Okay, so it's a dress. And down here, it's shorts. That's not uncommon, but they finally made the genius decision to split the back, which means when you actually put it on and you have the shorts underneath, the back is exposed. And that means when you have to go pee, you don't have to take off the whole dress in order to do so. This is one where Nala got the same thing. On her, it was kind of short. I guess it's kind of short on me too. I just look at my body differently, obviously, than I look at my kid's body. And for me, I'm gonna live my life and do what I want. She's gonna do what I tell her. <laughs> now I ended up buying this cardigan, which was not on sale, okay? So I broke the rules there. But I got it because I was like, oh, it's like this cute little green springy cardigan. It's gonna go so good because this is actually green. However, it really doesn't go. So I'm probably gonna return it. But okay, no, but I actually feel pretty cute right now. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't go. Like the colors really are not totally gelling with each other. Um, there's something about it that's a little off-putting. However, it's very cute. This is a, this is cute. I'm extremely comfortable too. That's really what I'm going for. Am I cute? Great. But am I comfortable? Fabulous. Cause that's really what I care about. So I just think this is a really cute little look. I think I might pack it. I don't know. Louis keeps telling me it's gonna be cold, but his cold and my cold are not the same. We just, our bodies don't function the same. Like when I'm sweating like crazy, he's wrapped in six blankets. It's really cute. I'm gonna link this stuff for you guys. Oh, let me try on this last little thing. This was on clearance. Again, I got one for me and I got one for Nala because both of our sizes were uh, available. And I wanna say it only costs like $12 or something crazy. And Hollister makes the best hoodies and zip ups and jackets like that. They're so comfy. Okay, this is a little hoodie situation. It just says Malibu. It's so comfy. I got the XXL. I get some in XL. I get some in XXL. You get the guys ones. Get whatever, dude. They all fit great. The girls ones tend to be ever so slightly more like cropped. And I love that for some of them. But for others, I really don't care. That's not, you know. I'm not here to be a cropped cutie pie honey bunch. I'm just here to get warm and, and, and be comfy and have my stomach covered so I can just relax sometimes. <laughs> okay, now that we tried everything on, seriously, I need to pack. But packing for me starts with this bad boy, which has not been emptied and cleared out. And I was just informed a couple of minutes ago that it's highly likely that this particular brand wants me to go on a trip. And listen, listen, I love my best friend. And I told you guys she's coming today. She's coming for about two and a half weeks and I just did the math. And in the two and a half weeks that she's gonna be here, where she's supposed to be, I am gonna be spending 14 of those days somewhere else, three different states. What the heck? I didn't plan any of these, like none of these were based on my timeline. All three trips have to do with other people's timelines. And I just cannot believe that this is happening. We, I was just complaining to her like a couple hours ago, like, oh, I'm barely gonna see you, blah, blah, blah. And then I get another thing, which like every opportunity is wonderful, you know what I mean? And I don't regret going on any of these things yet. Obviously they haven't happened, but it's not that I'm being, you know, gun to my head forced to do it. It's just that like the timing is so bad, you know what I mean? I'm never gone, I'm never busy. I mean, I'm busy, but I'm not like, ugh. you know, I'm not seriously busy. I'm not like, can't hang out busy. 
and now I'm gonna be can't hang out busy. So I said that because this needs to be addressed, especially because she's gonna be putting in work over the next three weeks. Said I don't travel that much, that's on purpose. We used to travel all the time, loved it, it was amazing. I got tired, girl, I'm tired. I'm tired. Just because something's beautiful does not mean I wanna go see it in person. I realized that. Oh, look, I forgot I bought these yesterday. Cinnamon bears. They're from Target, they're so good. Wait, well, I don't know if these ones are good, but cinnamon jellies like this. I'm sorry, cinnamon gummies. So delicious. I always get the cinnamon dragons from Trader Joe's. That just really brightened my day. I forgot about those. So we're gonna go in here. It's full, it's disgusting. Like things have opened and I actually just bought both of these yesterday. Some stuff is clearly open, like things are a little bit crusty. The whole thing needs to be completely emptied out. I'm sure some of this stuff has expired. It just needs to be emptied out and refilled and ready for the next three weeks of my life because I don't want to have to keep repacking this. None of these trips are vacations in the sense that I'm like going out to some tropical beach and I need a bunch of sunscreen. No, okay? I need my daily sunscreen for this face right here. <gasps> Why am I touching it? They just washed this. Um, and I need regular stuff. I need deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, hair stuff, face stuff, da 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 peep stuff. Not trying to offend with this. I'm not trying to offend people with that. I literally have very little time because as soon as the kids get home in an hour and a half, I have to help them. So I'm gonna check you in a minute once that's cleaned up. All right, we're done here. I cleaned it all, I redid it, just put back in the stuff that I thought I would need, and honestly, it's like a thousand times better. I mean, I can only clean it as well as I could clean it, okay? Don't go looking too closely. But yeah, this is much better. I don't take a million things, but I do feel like I pretty much have whatever I could need. And I don't remember where I got this bag, but it's very convenient because it has lots of little compartments. And then uh, on this big outside part, I just filled it with like pads and tampons and wipes and um, like Thermacare patches for whenever I'm on my period again, which will be during one of these trips, I'm sure, because it, of course it will be, so. I did take some stuff out, I'm putting it back already, but I'm gonna go put that in my bathroom or wherever the heck it goes. And then we're moving on to the suitcase. We gotta figure out what we're actually gonna wear, which is gonna be a little bit difficult because I don't exactly know what entirely we're gonna do. So I need to pack for a variety of occasions. Wonderful timing, because the kids are about to walk through the door. Toiletries are packed. I'm losing nails like more by the second. These are some pants that didn't fit in here. We have too many outfits, more than we need couple of options and then this is a pair of sandals I bought which go with this cardigan and dress situation but I highly doubt I'm gonna wear them but just in case just in case and then over here we just have like bras pajamas underwear socks whatever and then I'm gonna throw this in there we still need to put our makeup bag and our hair stuff so that'll take up this area I mean it won't be like super packed or anything which is good I can probably close the extension oh uh, well, that's it that's where a lot of the weight comes from I mean besides the freaking toiletry bag <laughs> But that's it, sugar plum. Actually, I'll just throw this on top of here. Just lock and load it in. I try to make all the outfits kind of a similar color so that, you know, I don't have to take a bunch of shoes and everything else. And honestly, less is more. Sometimes. <laughs> when it comes to packing, sometimes less is more. If I need a hoodie or a jacket, I'll just buy one. And now we figure out which bag we want. So I think I'm going to go with the big base bag because that one is just, it's been my favorite lately. I do have this uh, Dagny Dover one. Is that what it's called? Dagny Dover? That sounds wrong, but I don't think it is. But this one, I really like. This is the Weekender by Base, and that one's great too, but this one's a little, I don't know, cuter? Oh, I forgot about you, the pink Telfar. It doesn't match the pink of this bag though, so yeah, let's go with that. Base just kind of gets it. I don't know. Oh, I need to put a couple of crossbodies in this bag as well. I don't have a purse yet. So the reason I like this bag is because it has a lot of compartments and stuff. It, I just think it's cute, honestly. I think it's a cute little bag and it does fit under the seat and all that. And um, it has a place for pretty much whatever I need. And I tend to pack this kind of stuff in smaller bags, but in here I usually drop my purse. So I throw my purse inside of this bag and that way I can just yank it out, whatever. Everything that goes in here, is gonna be downstairs. Some cocoa appreciation, because normally it's just crash hamming it up for the camera. Coco is a sweet little baby. Coco loves me so much. She shows me every single night and every single morning. 
And when she really wants rubs, she gives you a little bite to let you know not to stop. See? <laughs> it never hurts. She's never purposely hurt me. See? <laughs> She's biting my hand. She's like, please don't leave. Don't let this stop. We didn't get our snuggles this morning, little girly. Kind of in a rush. Oh, sounds like the kids are home. But when she doesn't want it to stop, she lets you know. Back on the grind. I pause to help the kids. They're both fully packed. I didn't do that much. I kind of just was there. But both of them are fully packed into a little carry on. We are obviously in the beauty room now, which means we need to be thinking beauty. Okay, I'm gonna fill one of these with uh, makeup, but I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow because I'm probably gonna do a full face. But also why? But also, yes, I need to. So from here we need, <gasps> Okay, um, we need our hair stuff, which, yeah, I'll just straighten it in the morning, NBD, and we'll pack this. So, whoops, we're going to take, this is all we're going to take as far as, like, hair tools go. We're just going to take the Dyson, and we're going to make do. If that's not good enough, oh well. Let's open her back up. Um, I do need to leave soon, so I can't be here dilly-dallying like I would like to do. I'm a dilly-dallier. But my girl's coming in to Midway at like six, and that means not, the traffic is gonna not be good. Much like the lighting on that side of the room. So let's just turn it around. Plop. Uh, I'm not gonna take very many shoes. I'm purposely trying to Make it all work with just me wearing some white Air Force Ones. It is what it is, you know what I mean? It is what it is. My two cross bodies, I really like these ones. They're both from Aerie. I'll, uh, I'll pack it. Packing the 59 for my girl. I think I'm gonna take this that I just got. It's uh, Apple Brandy by Killian. And I'm actually just gonna take this teeny tiny little sample size of Killian's Angel Share. So this one, <laughs> this, Tiny little bottle, cost me $50. This was obviously just a little free sample. Y yeah, I love this scent. And I actually tried to buy the refill because if you buy it in the container, I believe it's $360 or something like that, something crazy. But if you just buy the refill, I believe it's $200 and then I think you somehow fill it back in here. I don't know, but uh, I ordered it and then they didn't give it to me. <laughs> it doesn't taste as good as it smells. Oh, absolutely, okay. You know what? We're just gonna take little teeny, teeny tiny ones today. And I'm just gonna make do. For once, I'm not taking a massive perfume. It's fine. It's gonna be fine if it's not already. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I don't feel like my knees are necessarily getting better doing Pilates. Maybe a little bit though, actually. Look at this girl. Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? Okay. Packing this for my kid. Zip. Zippity doo dah. All right. Cause I'd rather have options, you know? I don't feel like thinking about which one's gonna match. I think I'm gonna take my light colored little Michael Quarters bag. Or should I take a little Louis bag? No, I don't know. I this little bag on Poshmark and I thought it was so cute. The coach stuff that comes out is literally so freaking adorable um, that I never, like used it. I bought it this year, so I haven't had it that long. So this would actually be really cute to carry my earrings. So I'm just gonna throw a few pairs in there and <laughs> pretend like they fit really nicely. They don't. And there's a little bit of jamming going on. A little bit, a little bitsy bob. Man, don't sleep on Coach. Coach has some cute stuff. This is literally so adorable, I'm obsessed. There, I just attached it right there. I do also have an air tag in those suitcases just in case they get lost, so there it goes. And then that is gonna be for y'all. Makeup and then the hair bag. And I think that's it for the actual bag. Is that all I mean? Look, I could even kind of afford to take another pair of shoes, but. Actually, I have like no interest in packing tomorrow. I just wanna wake up, put myself together and leave. So we're gonna go ahead and pick out a pair of nails, I think. I might do these on the airplane. I saw a TikTok of people complaining about someone doing their nails on the airplane, like as though nail glue stinks, like it, it doesn't even have a scent at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick one out and take it with me. 
because these are looking busted. I'm going to take them off tonight, but I don't want to reapply until tomorrow. I'm going to take this one. Oh, actually, let me take one of the Glammatics that I got. Okay, I'm going to pack one of these, and I'm going to just do these tomorrow probably while I'm on the plane, like I said, because it's a pretty long ride. Um, so I didn't end up putting very much in here. I do have my base, like, mirror in here, and then I'm going to throw, if I have anything big, I guess I'll throw it in here. I can take, like, full-size stuff because we're... the hell has that always made that sound i'm gonna throw that in here because it's big we're gonna put our brushes on the top of this this is a bag that i believe i got at target so i'm gonna throw some brushes up here i'll have plenty left still to like do my face at home tomorrow i've honestly not been doing a full face lately but i probably will want to and i'm just gonna stick these in here i'm not even gonna do it all cute like it's just and now that's done throw that in there i'm doing a full face right now what am i doing i'm putting on primer this is the primer i use however this is a bad idea to take this primer because it doesn't have a cap so we're gonna take this primer okay my face is primed now i'm gonna do my eyebrows chalk or er, caramel and eyebrow gel and while i'm here mascara Telescopic Lift and Fantasize by One Size Beauty. Both of them are lovely. Maybe I want a little highlight in my eye. And now we're gonna do a brown, and then my favorite black and my favorite brown. This one I really like, I just can't get it nearly as smooth as I can with the other one. But we're gonna take the two next, and we're gonna take those two, because we'll see. We'll see if I have time to play around and try hard. Really hard. SPF. And then this is the one palette I'll need if I choose to do eyes. I'll take a Makeup Forever powder. I'm gonna wash this and then we are literally done packing the suitcase. That's amazing. Cause look, there's still some space left. I'm back and this time I'm a cowboy. Um, I'm not a cowboy, but I have my bag. We're gonna empty this bad boy. Got Ashley, dropped her off, back home. It's been three hours, four hours, I don't know how long. It's been a while, it's after eight o'clock now. I think this is the purse we're gonna take. <gasps> a fork. All right, we need to start with an empty bag. Cause what's gonna happen is we're gonna refill this bag and then this bag is gonna sit in this bag. This bag is gonna have its own assortment of products. And my little baby mom over here is keeping my computer warm. Thanks Pookie. Coco knows we're leaving. She she knows we're leaving and I just, <sighs> I feel so bad, I'm so sorry, I love you so much. Okay, so what's gonna be going in this bag thus far, I've had things charging. I have like a charging station where anybody can charge pretty much anything that needs to get charged. And my Kindle was trying to get charged over here. Um, so these things are all charged up now. Here is what will for sure be going with us. We have the camera that you are on right now, the battery and the charger. So two batteries and a charger for that. A little baby tripod. I'm probably going to switch this out with the tripod and all it has on the G7X. She has a G7X with the batteries and chargers for that. My Bose over-ear headphones. I love these things. Um, I considered briefly getting those apple ones but i heard they're kind of heavy if you guys have the airpod maxes or whatever please advise are they super heavy because these are lightweight and they're really good at noise canceling the triple charger this charges the watch the phone and the airpods all at once then we have a power bank with four charges in it i've had that for like 10 years maybe more and it actually i've had this for more than 10 years and it is so good it has literally stood the test of time and then in here we have the dji dji which is the little camera that you guys see me film on a lot and then the charger for my macbook my kendall this is just a little bag where i throw the tiny items my MacBook's going to go with me. Also, unfortunately, I have an edit that has yet to be approved. So unless they approve it tonight, this microphone also has to go with me, which I really was not wanting. But let's go ahead and decide of all these things what's going in the bag. I imagine I'll be making pretty quick work of this. This is Jason's fake little butterfly knife. Oh, gosh. Cash. I like to travel with cash. My wallet with my keys, my ID. Actually, let me just double check. I mean, it should be here. There's no reason it wouldn't. There it is. My ID and some cash. That's step one. I guess that's just gonna go in here. 
I don't like carrying cash like this and like an open kind of purse, you know? Hand sanitizer, a pack of gum, flossers, my AirPods. Hopefully they're charged. If they're not, I'm gonna be really annoyed. I should probably charge them tonight. Continental wipe, don't think I need this in my bag. Tampons, don't need these in my bag. Kleenex, I could use those. Secret Outlast, I definitely need that. These, the nails, I'm probably gonna put those on tonight, but I might put them on tomorrow. Um, the most amazing nail glue for traveling with because it doesn't leak. That. And then we have our K-Skin Summer Fridays, and then cheese and crackers. And then this bad boy, I got this one really recently after the, or during the Sephora sale, and this is by Super Goop, and it's a balm, so there's no color or anything to it, but it is obviously a sunscreen because that's what they do, so it's a, it's another sunscreen balm. <gasps> Here we go. Once you incorporate the edits below, you can go live. Okay, I just got feedback. Okay, so let me finish this because it sounds like I can make the edits right here. This is to like repair my nails or whatever, but instead of taking this whole thing, I'm just gonna take the one nail file and hope for the best. We're gonna leave this. One mint. We're gonna leave that receipt. We're gonna take two sunglasses. This one should just go into a different... This one actually really needs like a case because they're starting to get scratched out, but whatever. Lotion. My phone will be in here. I have two deodorants, so I'm gonna leave one out. And then, uh, where'd it go? Drugs. And a handy dandy little container. That's it, the bag's all packed. Now, we're gonna pack the big one. So inside the big one is gonna go the small one, which is the purse you just saw. This is gonna sit inside of here. For the sake of having an accurate weight, I am gonna slide my computer in here right now, but it's obviously not gonna stay there because I need to go on it tonight. We're gonna to throw a couple of little things in here. Power bank, the cord, and that should be good enough. This charger can get packed. This charger should go with me, but honestly it could get packed because I'm probably not gonna recharge my computer before I get there. This camera could probably go too, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one with me. It's pretty expensive. I try to keep the expensive stuff on me. Like the exceptionally expensive stuff, I try to keep that on my person. Which I doubt I will reach for. That being said, I am gonna film a reading vlog, so I'm reading these two books. This one though, I'm currently listening to, so I'm just gonna pack Funny Story by Emily Henry, and I think I'm gonna stick this in my bag. Okay, so that's it. This will also have a bottle of water tomorrow and probably, I don't know, some snacks or something. Oh, and you guys, and you guys are freaking huge, but okay, we're all packed up for the night. I'm gonna hang with the family, watch the rest of the Cubs game, and uh, film the beginning of that reading vlog, so I'll catch you guys in the morning.